my viewers welcome to the channel in the previous tutorial on inequalities from the 2023 ECZ paper 2 internal exam it was noticed that the review was incomplete the missing parts were completed in the comment section for those who were confused or missed the update this tutorial will provide a clear explanation and help you understand it better so for those of you who never, used, uh, who never watched uh, the previous tutorial, you can uh, go through my channel and you will find this tutorial. You will find the previous tutorial where we did a uh, part A and part B. So the question is uh, number two. It was uh, question number two and this question falls under, under inequalities. So we did part A and also did part b but what was remaining was uh, this question which said hence find the coordinates of uh, the turning point so we, ne uh, we never did this one in the previous tutorial so what i thought was that i should do this tutorial so that you get the clear understanding so that you get the clear understanding over this question so now what we're going to do is that we're going to go straight to this question so b said express 9 minus 4x minus uh, 3x squared in the form a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets uh, to the power 2 where a b and c are constants so this was uh, the question and we did this one so we expressed that uh, that one which was 9 minus 4x minus uh, 3x squared in that form which was a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets to the power 2 so we already expressed that one in that form so we already expressed that one into that form so now what we're going to do is that we're going to start uh, by writing uh, that one so the question says hence find the coordinates of the turning point that is the question that we're interested in now we're going to find the coordinates of the turning point through the help of that one which is up which says express 9 minus 4x minus uh, 3x squared into that form which is um, a minus b open brackets x plus c uh, close brackets squared so if you don't know how to express uh, that one into that form you can uh, watch the previous tutorial because we already did those questions the only remaining part it is that one which says hence find the coordinates of the turning point so we're going to do that question in this video tutorial watch through this one so that one was like it is uh, the form that i want is uh, the, the form that i wanted was a minus b open brackets x plus c close brackets and then the power two now we already expressed that one into the into that form and we when we expressed it it was like uh, it gave us 10 1 over 3 minus 3 open brackets so the value of a was 10 1 over 3 the value of b was 3 and then the value of c was 2 over 3 so we found it like that and then we expressed it into the form that they wanted now what we're going to do is that we're going to find the coordinates over the turning point through the help of those so the a was 10 1 over 3 so it was 10 1 over 3 and then we also have uh, the c so the c was 2 over 3 so 
in the expression we have, uh, we have gotten those which are in brackets and then when we get those which are in brackets we are going to say x plus 2 over 3 is equal to 0 so that we find the actual value of x so when you find the actual value of x it will be like uh, when you make x the subject the 2 over 3 will go on the right hand side and it will be a negative so we're going to have negative 2 over 3 so x is equal to negative 2 over 3 and then with the y part the y coordinate you don't have to worry much because that is the value of the y coordinate the y coordinate it is that value of a it is the value of a that is the y coordinate so therefore y is equal to 10 1 over 3 so this is how you are supposed to answer in an exam room so therefore the coordinates of the turning point are negative 2 over 3 comma 10 1 over 3 so this is how you are supposed to answer in an exam room this is how you find the coordinates of the turning point this is how you find the coordinates of the turning point i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to this youtube channel because it will give you different tricks which are used in additional mathematics which can even help you get a distinction uh, a distinction in additional mathematics please subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, comment in the comment uh, in the comment section and also like this video and also don't forget to share so that others enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics so this is how you score marks in an exam room so once more apologies for not completing this in the previous tutorial thank you for watching see you to another video tutorial